Hi Leo and welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Leo is uh, Leon in Swedish. I'm Swedish and therefore I will go a bit back and forth with the Swedish words to maybe explain, explain some um, English words if I feel like it, it needs some clarification. I um, started out a few weeks ago with relationships and I feel like it has shifted a bit so it's more like you guys as a Leo collective sort of have questions. I know you're not sitting there with questions very intentionally probably um, but whatever has gone on with you for the like past week and right now and maybe for a future week um, the energy there will be clear to spirit and the universe and it will just sum, sum up some answers that will come through me. Of course, that would be the same thing with relationships and maybe 98% will still, still be around relationships because I feel like besides eating and, and our true passion, relationships are probably the most important thing to us. Um, but I just want to clear that up so that you don't get like too disappointed if it's not relationships and that's what you were looking for. Um, I don't use the tarot cards. I don't like it's not a typical tarot reading. I use just plain cards uh, for inspiration to just get my own intuition going. And uh, I also want to say that I'm not heavy, which is funny. I'm not heavy into the uh, astrology in the sense that if there's a planet in a certain house or a certain moon or a certain sun or whatever, uh, or if there's a full moon or if there's an eclipse or whatever's going on, um, and you feel like, oh, there's a full moon, so therefore I can't do this today, or like you have the biggest thing coming up and you won't go because there's an eclipse that night or whatever. If it starts to hinder your life, I look at that. Like I don't, I, I don't like to use outside forces um, to hinder your life in any way, if that makes sense. Other than that, play with it. If it works for you, if it's a full moon and you get extra powerful, then like if it works for you, then use it. If the cards works for you, use it. But take it with a grain of salt, like, um, and whatever I say as well. If it resonates with you, awesome. If it doesn't, toss it out. That's, that's all I have to say. So with that said, Leo, astrology Leo, um, with the cards, <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope I make sense. Uh, no disrespect to any astrologer, any tarot reader. It's all great. I'll listen to them on, on, on occasion as well, them because it's a gang of them. Just be quiet now. Leos, what's going on with you guys? What do you need to hear most right now? And I try to be as clear as I can from last week so that I, I bring it fresh. Ooh, got stuck together. <gasps> Start with this one. Uh, okay, so I have the... I have a deer card. I have a deer card here. <laughs> I have a deer card. Um, see, they got a bit dark here. I'm sorry about that. And just tells me that love is on its way in. So this will be, I feel like it's focused on relationships. And just because I said so, and because I talked about not using so much the planets or the moon or whatever it's just a it's just this is a relationship reading it will be a relationship reading for sure and it's something around the moon obviously they're going to give me that one um and it can even be and as i say that i think today actually there's a full moon uh and today it's the 17th when i record this but when you listen it will be midsummer um so I feel like whatever starts today when I'm recording this uh, and, and between this full moon, like the full moon, and I think it's in Cancer, if I'm correct. I might be wrong. Um, if there's a full, like between the full moon now, like the 
the 17th of June and the next full moon, like this period in between here, something is up, something like there's going to be a new person coming into your life or there's going to be like some sort of renewal in the relationship that you're in. Or if you have been on a break with a person, like there's been a separation with you and a person, uh, I see that this person is coming back to you. There's a there's a coming back. There's an this person will come in again. We'll we'll look at the other person and see and see what this is. I get the Cinderella syndrome here. Um, Cinderella. Is that Cin Cinderella that um, drops the shoe like she's uh, at the ball and at midnight she. Uh, runs out of the castle from the prince and she drops the shoe like the glass shoe and what's up with that maybe I'm just supposed to say that for some of you Leos to understand what's what's up with that uh, maybe you're looking for a Cinderella story or I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and guess so spirit will give me clear messages and We'll find out what this is about. Take a look at this. So the full moon on the bottom, there's a deer. And the girl dropped her glass shoe. And don't confuse it with it, that it's a girl. It can also be a man. But it's a Cinderella. There's a Cinderella theme here for some reason. And something that you're... If you have... If you, f if you feel, okay, there's, there's an in-between feeling, like there's a, there's a, either you have been together with a person and that person, like, and it feels like you, you're on a break, you're separated somehow, or you've been single for a while and you feel like it, I'm ready, like it's time for that next relationship, the next step in my life um, and you're thinking about it like you're thinking about your person you're thinking about getting back together or getting into relationship and and it's not all excited like it could be an awesome feeling to like if you're separated with a par partner right now uh, you could feel more excited about com the potential of coming back together or if you've been single for a while and you feel like I'm ready like I'm ready for the next uh, big adventure with a person like um, and you're sort of almost seeing him or her in your mind or dreaming about this person or you've had like so many signs that it's about to happen fairly soon uh, and still I feel like it's not an excitement around it, it's not a pure joy exciting feeling about this person coming in it's sort of almost like a that you're a bit uh frustrated about it or a bit off about it like you see other people holding hands and it sort of brings you down a bit or the person and i can understand if you're on a break from somebody and you're a bit scared that the person that you want to be with is not going to come back or is not going to work or you won't get your feelings back for this person or this person won't get his or her feelings back for you. I can understand that there is a anxiety there or, or a worry there, but if you try as best as you can to look into what that fear or that worry is about and, and then shift it as much as you can up to hopefulness or, or just a belief that like when you make a decision that the universe is on your side like like you get up in the morning and everything just it just does everything in its power to work for you and when you made that decision and you know that somebody if you have separated from somebody it has a meaning it, ha it is a plan if you're still waiting for that someone to enter your life and you feel like it's so overdue, it's so past time, know that something is still been working through from for the other person or or you needed this space. I'm more towards that the latter one. You need you needed this space to sort of gather yourself again and 
and I feel that it's sort of an all coming together. It's, it's a feeling of when this partner enters your life, it's the feeling of, and at the same time, you got the house, you got the money, you got the, you got the whatever, like whatever you've been waiting for, wanting to manifest, sort of all just, just comes in at one time because you, you open up. But I'm telling you, this frustration or this worrisome feeling that I that I pick up from you, or 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 this sort of a bit low, a low feeling that I'm picking up from you is not gonna let your person in. I'm sorry for being sounding a bit harsh, but if you do the best you can to let it go for a bit and just go out and have fun, an hour of fun will shift this. That's that's how potent it feels. <laughs> I told you. Uh, yeah, you, when when your person comes back, or when you let this person in, your new person in, um, there's money, there's the house, there's the opportunities. Uh, it's even I even see a dog. Like some of you guys will get a dog, uh, or some sort of pet. And yeah, it's just fireworks and it's just awesomeness. And if you knew what was waiting, like if you knew what was waiting in the wings or right around the corner, you will, you will, you would feel so much more excited. I want you guys to just, just the Leo collective out there, just take a deep breath and just know that stuff is working out for you. And whatever has been a bit of a struggle in the past, it almost feels like you've gone from, I'll never. I'll just be single for the rest of my life. It's just easier. It's just easier. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to like, I don't want to meet a new person. I want to start over. And then you sort of have gained your strength back. And it's like, well, I might want somebody. Okay, then. <laughs> and when I think about it, um, it might be quite nice. But it's still kind of, it's, it's, I, I'm not too sure still, but maybe. And then it's like you've worked your way up and, and now you're at the point where of course you want somebody, of course, and not just somebody, this is the person you've been waiting for. Whether you are separated right now and that person is coming back because that person, for you guys who resonate with this message, if you're, if you're separated and you feel a strong, strong connection to your person still and you have sort of a... You just know that you were supposed to be with that person. Know that that person is coming back. But the focus on the lack of this person right now holds him or her apart from you. If you're waiting for a new person, if you've been single and you're waiting for a new person to enter your life, know that this person, and also for the people that has been together with their person, uh, sorry if I'm a bit confusing now, know that the the development was needed you needed to upstage not upstage what do you say that's that's when you get sort of past somebody else that's not what i mean when you level up when you go to the next level when you sort of grow and expand yourself when you when you have like gather much more knowledge and wisdom for yourself and self-worth i would say self-worth um now you're getting ready for the partner that you were always intended to meet, right? So buckle up, like spend fast day, like um, it's coming and the money's, I got a money card here. So some of you Leos have been waiting for money and it's about to come in big time, big time. It's an owl there upside down. It just tells me that there's a lot of, there's a, there's a wisdom and there's growth that needed on your part. And also what you can sort of bring to your partner rather than what can your partner bring to you. I want to have a sum up card for this. Oh, holy moly. So I just got the, the Phoenix, uh, the Peacock Phoenix, which is like you're, you're just getting out of the fire and just, you're just on, 
you're in flames and you're just oh lord um your your new life is about to start I get really emotional your new life is about to start and if you sit there now and you watch this video happy midsummer uh and you feel like I am celebrating in summer on my own. My person has not come back. I'm single. I'm depressed. Uh, and you're supposed to have a good time. This is for Sweden anyway, that we celebrate midsummer. We're doing little jumping frogs and all of that. <laughs> uh, if you're American, you watch this, just Google it. It's weird. Midsummer and frogs. Um, your your luck is about to change and i don't believe one second in luck this is all prepared it's all prepared and it's coming for you if you just play it cool and i don't mean play cool in the sense of playing anything be cool just follow whatever feels right in the moment sort of um a lot of people said that to me when i was pregnant uh both times that like take Take a moment to yourself now because when the baby's here, your alone time will be gone. It will be over. There's no more alone time. And I feel the same way for you. Like, this is something different that will, that will start. And because it's not only a lover that will come in or your person, this is like the person that you're supposed to live your life with, together with, grow with. There's so many things, so many different things that will come in that will sh shift everything. And so there won't be another single moment in your life. It's, it, your new life starts now. So therefore, take a breath, read a book, whoever reads books these days, um, watch something on Netflix, uh, stay up late because you can, because you can stay in bed forever in the morning like whatever just do what you feel like doing now when you're still on your own because that time is over soon that is an awesome card to end with i'm so excited for you leos it's just everything's just about to to change and i can see that you've been having a rough time or the phoenix the phoenix is rising out of the ashes and into the fire and and you're not rising from anywhere if it hasn't been like on a low point. So I, I get it. It's been tough. But that's that's all about to change. It's it's the love coming in. It's you want your fairy tale and you got it. It will happen. The Cinderella story will happen between this full moon and the next full moon. And by the time you hear this, it has already been almost a week. So if you haven't already met this person, uh, you're so close. And money will come in and you're about to start a whole new life it's, it's just new beginnings it's just awesome uh, I'm over time again I'm trying to do 15 minutes uh, and I suck at that <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, and I just want to say that from hopefully next week I'll do extended uh, versions that I'll be recording at uh, Vimeo or Vimeo or whatever it's called and um, to dive deeper into it, if that's interesting to you, uh, check it out. If you like this video, please subscribe, share it with your friends if you want to and have them subscribed as well. I hope you have a glorious week and a happy midsummer. Bye Leos.